Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, some might say over the top beautiful Sunday afternoon here in the collapse of everything at Bugs in a Jar Farm where I just returned from my algae filled creek. You can find that on a uh, on another video here in a minute. Uh, so, anyway, I guess we all know that Joe Biden has stopped lying to himself. Yes, Joe Biden has stopped lying to himself uh, that he could actually run Donald Trump out of the White House. Uh, and now we get to really hear the, the lies uh, start to pour out from our former and future president. Anyway, while I cogitate on that, uh, I'm over here on uh, this post I get, Undenial, from uh, Rob Milkarski. I've mentioned Rob's excellent website before, Undenial. And Rob is running a long essay by a fellow, I don't know whether he calls himself Pac Nation or Chris, but whoever this guy is, wrote this uh, long essay called Humans Are Not a Species. And uh, I was going to dive into this. But, uh, you know, it, it's one of these essays that reads well. I mean, if you're reading it yourself, but it doesn't play well when you're listening to it. So uh, I will try to remember to put the, uh, the link to it. But let's just go down. So I... I got about maybe half of the way through it and had too much to do. So uh, we're just going to get to Chris's last paragraph where he sums it all up about humans not being a species. And then uh, Rob Milkarski comes in with a PS at the end of Chris's thing that I, that I really enjoyed. But first... How does uh, Chris uh, wrap up humans are not a species? Quote, regardless of how they are, I, I guess he's not including himself in the human species, regardless of how they got to their peak of what's possible in the universe, they all have the same thing in common. They, meaning humans, and I guess not Chris, they are off the grid from the rest of life, no longer a species, and they are solely responsible for their planet's great reset because they started playing around with fire something that had never been done on that planet, meaning this planet, prior. Th this simplifies things quite a bit for me about our insane civilization and human behavior. Everything, after breaking the first energy constraint, is irrelevant. Good evil, indifference, irrelevant. And uh, <laughs> so anyway, and then after that long essay, uh, Rob leads, leaves us with this P.S., a quote from this excellent movie that you can find, I think you can still find this on Netflix, starring Julia Roberts. Uh, leave the world behind. If you have not uh, seen Leave the World Behind, you need to see this. So this is uh, Rob signing off with this quote. I like th this quote from Leave the World Behind 
because it sums up everything and is so easily understood from the top of Collapse Mountain. Take it away. I don't know who the writer was uh, who actually penned these words. These whoever the script writer from Leave the World Behind. Take it away. Quote, We fuck each other over all the time without even realizing it. We fuck every living thing on this planet over and think it will be fine because we use paper straws and order the free-range chicken. And the sick thing is, I think deep down we know we are not fooling anyone. I think we know we are living a lie, an agreed-upon mass delusion to help us ignore and keep ignoring how awful we really are. Thank you, uh, whoever the script writer is, from leaving the world behind, uh, who I guess still uh, considers it himself or herself to be part of the we, unlike Chris, who uh, apparently has has parted from the human species. Oh, God, how awful we truly are. All of this lying to ourselves and everybody else we meet. But at least Joe Biden is no longer lying to himself, but he's already inflicted the damage and, uh, and sent Donald Trump, the liar-in-chief, the former and future liar and fuck each over fuck over each other uh, <laughs> in chief. Donald Trump, uh, his position has been cemented into the White House. Let the countdown begin, but it is a beautiful day here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, and uh, I need to go pick some more fresh blackberries for a a new cobbler because my sister will be showing up soon and I'm sure she will be hungry for some blackberry cobbler while she still can bye guys